Hi, welcome to Duplicum. Today, we'll cover symbol settings and mapping. This video will show you real-life scenarios where you can use symbol settings in your cockpit. Let's start. One of the most common uses of symbol settings is mapping. Mapping is done on the symbol settings. It's good to note that symbol settings require a flexible plan. If you are testing with a free plan, you can choose brokers with complex symbols matching or simply focus on forex pairs. We need mapping when there are complex symbol differences between master and slave accounts. If it's just a matter of changing a suffix like EURUSD to EURUSDM, we don't need mapping for this to work. When dealing with discrepancies like gold to XAUUSD, the symbol does not exist error can be fixed by mapping symbols, provided the symbol is active or enabled on the slave account. This is a very rare type of strategy, but mapping can also help you match symbols you want to copy. For example, if your master account trades EURUSD, but you want to copy it as GPPUSD on the slave account, mapping is necessary in that case. Lastly, you can use mapping to define specific settings at the symbol level. We'll show you how to do it in just a bit. Symbol settings is located within copy settings. We provided two ways for mapping symbols. First method is by going to the advanced settings, then click on the symbol mapping tab. It's good to note that mapping is case sensitive and must be the exact symbol. Otherwise, it won't work. You can visit your broker's terminal and go to the symbol list to confirm. In my case, Germany 40 is my master symbol. Then DAX is my slave symbol. Now that I have the correct symbols to map, I'll enter the symbols exactly as provided by the broker while taking note of the capitalization. Once done, let's click on Add Mapping and click on Save. It'll take you back to Copy Settings window, and you will see the symbols you just mapped. Another way of mapping is by going to the symbol settings provided in the Copy Settings. Let's say I need to map master symbol France 40 to slave symbol FRA 40. We just need to enter the symbols accordingly and click on Add. You'll notice that additional settings became available. If you want to define specific settings at the symbol level, this is where you do it. The symbol settings has the highest priority. Defining your settings at the symbol level will override the default and per master level settings. Let's say I want the risk factor to be fixed lot with a value of 0 0.1. I'll click on the risk factor and adjust it to my preference. Then click Save. You can apply this change to any symbol you have mapped. Let's update the risk factor for the second mapping to a fixed lot size of 0 0.2 and activate the pending, stop loss, and take profit settings. And if there's a need for it, you can also define advanced settings to customize your trades even more. The symbol does not exist error occurs when the symbol is not found on the slave broker's platform or was temporarily unavailable during the trade. However, if the symbol is indeed active, you can resolve this issue by mapping it in the cockpit. If you come across the message symbol not found at the slave or master account level, it simply indicates that a symbol was not located during the initialization process. While it has no impact on the copy, you may try to on and off the account to reload the list of symbols. If you get this error, it may indicate that the given symbol is not enabled for trading. Symbols can be configured by the broker to be in open only 
close only, or disabled status. This can occur when a symbol is being delisted from trading and you can only close existing positions related to it. In that case, please contact your broker. You might need to create a mapping with another symbol on the slave account later. That concludes our tutorial for today. We hope that this is helpful with your setup. If you have any questions, our team is always ready to assist you. Have an amazing day and see you again next time.